Skipper Ben Brown bats Sussex into a dominant position on day one. Second place Sussex hosted Derbyshire, hoping to strengthen their promotion prospects by chasing their fifth win of the campaign. The visitors took the option to bowl first, and after a flurry of falls from the Sussex openers, they got their first breakthrough in the sixth over. Philip Salt caught by Sean Irvine off the bowling of Hardisville Yearn. Three overs later, Tom Haynes would join him, caught by Matt Critchley off the bowling of Lockie Ferguson. Luke Wells, meanwhile, had been immovable, playing his way to a handy 35, before finally succumbing to the pressure of Ravi Ram Paul. And after three wickets in the first 14 overs, Derbyshire struggled to create opportunities. Harry Finch and Michael Burgess combining well at the crease to take the home side past the 100 mark. 14 overs after they came together, the partnership was broken, Burgess departing for 11 from 29 balls off the bowling of Tony Palladino. His wicket left the score at 113 for four, but it would be some time before another fell. Finch brought up his half century with a six off Villiern, following the achievement with another off the very next ball. Ben Brown played well alongside Finch, the pair guiding Sussex past the 200 mark with little to worry them. Until the 50th over of the day, when Finch's impressive innings came to an end, bowled by Palladino for 82. Three overs later, Brown notched his half century and struck up a useful partnership with David Visa. The runs flowed fluently as the pair attacked the Derbyshire bowling after tea. The runs flowed fluently as the pair attacked the Derbyshire bowling after tea, Visa getting his half century with a boundary off Critchley. As is so often the case, as Brown reached the 90s, the runs began to dry up before he recorded his 15th first class century. The Sussex skipper would eventually fall trapped LBW by Ferguson for 116 off 169 balls. Chris Jordan would join Visa at the crease, but his stay in the middle would last just nine balls, bowled by Villiern for three. The home side would be largely untroubled for the remaining play, and at stumps, Sussex found themselves in a commanding position at 400 for seven, Visa just 11 runs short of a century.